just breaks my brain how strong this little printed bar is and how stiff. You can barely budge it with your bare hands. No one's ever, no one I've ever met has been able to break it simply by popping it between their thumbs as it were. Some, uh, <laughs> some kids from us, no students even, they managed to break it but um, <laughs> it was difficult, I think it hurt. <sighs> anyway, uh, to check how well your print is going, a simple way is to print two towers. These are, ooh, I guess, about 20 mils apart. And they are 8 millimeters tall, um, 80 millimeters tall, with a cross sectional area of 8 by 8. And you print two of those side by side. And the reason you do that um, is because if you print it just one, in fact, you're very likely to melt the top end and also it allows you to check how your filament is looking. And the only difference is that they've been dried out properly. So this is nylon, um, nylon PA6 I suspect, I have to double check that. It's the Esun brand and that is what happens as you dry it over the course of about a week. So you get to this one which is really rather nice looking and um, essentially unbreakable it's just nothing I can do to it god barely moves ridiculous material it's fantastic if I'd be able to print metal on just a standard FDM fantastic